of certain relationships. Oh, you know? yeah. There are certain relationships that are just holding you back. You can't move forward. You have been there for the past five years, four years. There is no direction. You are not happy in the relationship. You are completely broken. You know, uh, this person uh, is not just there for you. You know, this person is not is not bringing you even closer and to the God. Relationship is not moving it's not moving anywhere. anywhere. Yeah. But you are just stuck. You need to pray for strength, for inner strength to be able to uh, uh, move beyond uh, that particular uh, relationship, you know, to say no and break out from such a uh, shackle that possibly might be keeping you at, at a very stagnant position. Hello. Hi. Hello, everyone. <laughs> uh, welcome to our channel. This welcome is um, Debbie channel. and Vic. <laughs> Alright, so what are we doing? Yeah, so before we get into today's topic, mm. first of all, you have to click the subscribe button before you keep watching. Mm. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would like feedback from you guys, you know, topics that, you know, things you like bother your heart. About, is, yeah, you know, like just that. drop it in the comment section and mm -hmm. we'll try as much as possible to reply everyone. So today's topic is what? So we want, to, we want to look at the kind of prayers that you should pray towards your marriage as a single person. Yeah, before we go on, I want to say that if you are a single person watching this video and you have not been praying about your marriage, you are very wrong. Mm. Yeah, because absolutely wrong. You know, there's, a, there's a popular adage that says, he who fails to plant is planning to fail. So if you are going to be married for the rest of your life, mm. Even more than the number of years you've been single, let's say you are 27 years old right now. Mm. If you get married today, you probably be married for a longer amount of time than mm. that. So it's good to start praying about it. Start setting things right in your marriage in the place of prayer. Don't say, oh, I'm too young. Uh, I don't have to do this right now. Or I'm too old. I yeah. don't know if. If that is even possible. You you are not never too young to start praying about your husband, your your marriage, your children that you are going to have. It's, the, it's just the right time to start doing that, and the right time is now. Yeah. Yeah. So prayer, you know, people say it's an investment that you made into the future, and yeah. that you can go take from whenever mm. you need to. All right. So prayer is instrumental. Prayer is 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 you know. A way of reshaping things, you know, it's a way of communicating your heart to God, it's a way of receiving from God, you know. So, it's quite very important that as singles and even as individuals, we crave the um, habit of praying. Someone says that when a man or a woman is not praying, they are absolutely proud. Mm. Now, only proud people do not pray because. Prayer brings you to a state where you are saying, this is me. I can't do it. I can't help myself. Lord, I need direction from you. Lord, I need help from you. Yeah. Lord, something divine needs to happen in my life. You know, and you believe in that. He said, prayer helps with that, you know. You know so, uh, it is humility to pray. All That's right. right. So, it, 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 it's important. But, so, what are some of the prayers that uh, we feel you should pray? I, I would say first that uh, is to pray for um designment yeah. the spirit of designment very, very important, important yeah. because i feel that different people will be coming your way you'll be meeting different people one of the things that can help you as a single person you know trusting god for marriage is designment because mm. you are able to design you are able to look beyond what you are seeing you're able to look beyond the sweet words of the brother. You're able to look beyond the shape that the sister is, you know, is displaying before you. And uh, possibly even look beyond the little money that the person has at this time. But yeah. with the eyes of the spirit, God can help you to see into the future. And you are making a choice, not just based on today, but yeah. based on tomorrow. So it is good to have the spirit of design to be able to differentiate, to be able to design and say, this is what God uh, wants for me. It's one prayer that you need to pray, that your design will be sharp. Yeah. Your ears will hear, your eyes will see, and your heart will be able to perceive that which is the will of God. Yeah, yeah because you have to be able to know the beyond the present, 
uh, what is going to happen in the future so you might some people will even come to you with sugar coated mouth and make lot of promises mm. oh i have this i can do this i'm doing this i'm doing that and, I'm, and you're like oh my god i'm in love with this person not knowing that the person is just um it's just exaggerating you know and even beyond that for people that, that for the things that you can actually see people change you know so you need to know to to allow god to help you make a decision make based on the present and the future of that person and god knows today he knows yesterday and he knows tomorrow so that's why you have to commit that area of your life into the ends of god yeah so another thing also could be the leading of god we've spoken about designing but another thing is leading it has relationship but leading means that god is directing your path guiding you to meet this person right. you know being at the right place at the right time you know understanding the strategic location the that you know the times you know, <laughs> times and seasons you know the strategic location that god will have you be to be able to meet this right person right. so the leading of god is very important and you need to pray that god lead me you know in your mercy you know to connect me to this right person you know, the leading of God is essential. And the Bible says that uh, children of God, sons of God, we are led by the Spirit of God. So it's important that you pray to God that the Spirit of God will lead you, direct your step, and make you to be at the right place at the right time. Yeah, another thing you can, you should start praying against is time wasters. Some mm. people, <laughs> some mm. people. Hmm. Some people are just in your life to, to waste, waste your time. time. Like Kai. Kai. they don't, they don't have anywhere they are going. Hmm. They are not. They don't see you in their future. They are not even ready to get married to you. They just want to come and waste your time. Yeah. And at the end of everything, you ask yourself, what are you gaining by doing this? You, they, they don't. Some will never have any gain. It's just for the fun of it. So you have to absolutely pray to God to help you weed out time wasters. Mm. at the at you see that you won't even dedicate your, your time to them at all and then they leave you you broken and and crying and sad you know so you have to definitely pray against that yeah and to add to that you know those time we another thing is is that you pray that god will be able to give you certain relationships oh you know? yeah there are certain relationships that are just holding you back you can't move forward you have been there for the past five years four years there is no direction you are not happy in the relationship you are completely broken you know uh, this person uh, is not just there for you you know this person is not it's not bringing you even closer and to god not it's not moving anywhere, anywhere yeah. but you are just stuck you need to pray for strength for inner strength to be able to uh, uh, move beyond uh, that particular uh, relationship you know to say no and break out from such a uh, shackle that possibly might be keeping you at at a very stagnant position yeah any other thing you think no. well another thing i think we should also pray about is to pray for our, our marriage himself you know now you pray you are praying for your marriage the kind of uh partner that you will you will want your um, your wife to be or you want your husband to be somebody that fears the lord somebody that loves the lord somebody that uh, we stand for truth you need to begin to pray for them you know that is very important begin to you don't know them yet but begin to pray for them because you believe that indeed you shall not lack your mate is there she's there somewhere and you are moving prayers uh, into their life, speaking prophetically into their life. I think that is very important that you need to begin to pray uh, for your partner. You pray for your marriage, the kind of marriage that you want to see, a godly marriage, a marriage where there is love, a marriage where there is respect, a marriage where there is growth. That is what you want to see. So you begin to prophesy even before now and say, this is the kind of marriage that I want to see. Yeah. Another a thing I think you need to even begin to pray for is to pray for even your unborn children. Right. You pray against any form of delay when it's time, you know, that you want. And at the same time, that indeed there will be children that will be for signs and wonders. Children that will not stress you, all right? Children that will love the Lord. Children that will seek the Lord. So I think you need to begin to pray ahead for that. 
One more thing I think you need to begin to pray about is for your in-laws. Very important. Begin to pray into the kind of family that God is going to yeah. connect you to. Because you can have a good partner, but yet a bad in-law can frustrate certain things out of you. They can begin to talk to your partner, you know, say stuff about you and begin to, you know, create certain scenarios. And even from the stage where you are introducing yourself to yeah, um, um, to your each other's family, you begin to pray and begin to seek the face of God that everything is going to be in order, that everything is going to be in order, that everything is going to go as God planned, which I think is a very important one, that you begin to um, realign things concerning each other's family, uh, seeing that the heart of both in-laws are drawn and even towards each other, even before uh, you, um, you eventually meet. And then lastly, I will say that uh, pray that uh, both of you will be lovers of God yeah. and that you'll be, you, you'll be persons that are going to fear the Lord. That's because right. it is the fear of God that will make a man or a woman not to do certain things against uh, somebody he or she is in courtship with or somebody he or she is um, uh, possibly going to get married to. So you pray for the fear of God. You pray that indeed both of you will love the Lord and God will connect you with somebody that will, um, that will love him. I think lastly will be in the area of purpose, which I think is very important prayer you need to pray because you can marry somebody and yet you go out of purpose yeah. now may god connect you with people that is going to advance your purpose yeah. may god connect you with people that are not going to take you out from god's purpose for your life you know especially for you as a lady you need to pray that that god will not give you a man that will just march you down and you are completely hidden you, are, you have completely gone into extinction because you are married to someone you know pray that indeed God will bring you somebody that your purpose will align, somebody that will support you in the fulfillment of your purpose, and somebody that will be there in supporting you to fulfill God's call for your life. Yeah, yeah and so as we are praying these prayers, uh, as for you um, single person watching this, I pray that by this time next year, mm -hmm. you are going to come back with testimony Amen. of what God Amen. has done in your life. I will connect you with it. The, that person that is the right person for you, that your purpose will align, your values will align, you will love each other, and then you build a godly home together in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So as we go, rather than complaining, start praying. Yeah. Rather than murmuring around, start praying. Rather than, you know, being frustrated with things, oh, this relationship is not working or certain things, start praying because we believe that through God and with God, all things are possible. All right, do well to subscribe and please share this video with a single person, uh, uh, you know, and God bless you. Thank you for watching. All right, bye. <laughs>